and welcome to our first Canvas Project Virtual Crafts. My name is Meg Miller. I'm an adult services librarian at Pflugerville Public Library, and we are excited to bring you this new virtual program. Uh, we will show a short video tutorial of how to complete the project. And for those folks who have registered with the library and pick up their material supply kits, you'll be able to complete these at your convenience. And for anyone else seeing this, we hope there are some supplies you might be able to find somewhere and complete the project if you're interested. So let's get started. And as with all of our virtual program crafts, uh, for those folks who were able to register and have come to pick up their material supply kit, you'll get this awesome envelope here that'll have everything you need to make this uh, canvas project, which for this month is faux embossing. Of course, the first piece will be the canvas itself. And these student canvas um, come with the little wooden pieces that you can use to put into the back to tighten down uh, the canvas if you so choose. We are providing some designs, these over, just some simple kind of linear designs that I pulled. Um, as with any craft, you are also able to just kind of um, freeform and make a design of your own. You have a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil, folded in half, try to keep that pretty straight. Additionally, we are providing seven washable markers. Um, if you do decide to add color, um, the technique I'm gonna show you is gonna be a little bit messy, uh, but these are washable, so they should come right off. The bag here will have the macrame yarn, some uh, Mod Podge there that'll help us, and then a Elmer's glue for gluing down your yarn. And the last piece in here, we have an awesome Pflugerville Library pencil that is actually color changing when it gets heated. Um, this is what we're gonna use to kind of help emboss, um, but then you will also just have a bonus pencil. All right, so let's get started crafting. Some of the canvases are still wrapped in plastic, so you'll just wanna remove the plastic from your canvas. It will be up to you whether you wanna protect your workspace. Um, you'll get a little messy with the uh, Mod Podge when we get to that point. Uh, you may just wanna have um, some hand wipes around or a way to wipe off your fingers, but generally the table probably won't get very messy. Um, you can decide whether you want a portrait or uh, landscape uh, design for your canvas, you may also want a pair of scissors. Um, we have provided um, about four feet of macrame yarn. Um, and so if you want, you can do one continuous design or you would be able to trim down the pieces to each of the lines. So this was one of the designs that I did. Uh, you can see in the original, the moon is a crescent, but I decided it would be a little easier if I went for a full moon over the mountains. So I went ahead and just made a circle. It was really easy to kind of follow the line there. Um, again, I've got the mountains there. In my example, I've added an extra line of yarn down here. Um, and for this thicker yarn, the stars really weren't something that I could translate easily. Uh, so I went ahead and skipped those. I think this time around, I would like to do this fun little kind of floral pattern. You have several options. Um, you can definitely just trim down use a little bit of glue and tack it right onto your canvas. If you've got a pencil, you could definitely sketch out kind of a design that you'd want to use. 
And actually, I think for this, I may just go with a freeform design. This yarn is just a cotton macrame yarn. And it takes it a little while with the Elmer's glue to tack down. Um, it also kind of frays at the end fairly easily, which when you're doing macrame is exactly what you want. But when you're hoping to have it laid down as a uh, design, it didn't quite work out so well. So I kind of adapted this particular um, craft to make it so that the yarn would be a little bit easier to stay. So I'm just gonna cut probably a little more than a foot of my yarn there. And that's what I'm gonna use to make the beginning. Um, so as I said, I'm gonna do a butterfly design. So these nice pen tip, kind of precision tip glue pens will allow me to really just draw right on my design. As I said, I'm gonna go for a butterfly there. Might be a little hard to see with the white on the white canvas. Um, and then I'm really just gonna dip my yarn into the decoupage, maj podge, and just kind of smooth it all down. This also seemed to help a lot once I got to the point of putting the aluminum foil on. It helped it stick together. So I'm just kind of making sure that the deck pod, the Mod Podge is on both sides of the yarn. And it is nice and coated. Not really dripping. Paying attention to my ends here, kind of twisting them a little bit together. Again, you can already see on my thumb there. This is why we're getting a little, little messy for this one. Some of the best crafts are the messiest. So I'm just gonna lay my little top guy down right there. I'm gonna bring him around right here. And I do have a little bit extra. So let's give our little one guy there. There's one little antennae. And let's get him our second little antenna. And I'm making sure I have enough room that when I lay down the aluminum foil, there will really be enough room to press it down. Be a little, a little different, but since it's freehand, it's not going to be exacting. All right, making sure that my ends are down and not up too far. Just a little bit of glue there. Same here in the middle where I make connection. There we go. All right. And I'm going to need another chunk here of my yarn for my wings. I want to make sure they're about the same, so I'm just doubling up and trimming in half. All right, back to the messy part. I'm going to dip it right in. Do the Mod Podge and twist my ends. Let's get this other end in there. Embossing is a technique that I've been interested in trying for a while in different types of crafts. I thought it would be a fun one for this first canvas project program. So embossing is the raised look, something that you know often is done on metal. That's why we've got the aluminum foil as the faux kind of embossing. All right, I'm ready 
for some butterfly wings. There we go. Wing. down. It really does just lay down beautifully there. Look at our little tail. Let's make a little design into the middle here. There we go. Oh, I love that. All right. A little bit of glue at my edges so that we are connected here between the two pieces and my edges are down. Definitely the aluminum foil is going to be the part of this craft that you're going to want to take the most time with. Uh, you may get some rips in the aluminum foil, nothing to worry about. Um, the gluing them down or using a patch piece on a, of a different piece of aluminum foil works fairly well. As with all crafts, you're going to see what you feel like are the mistakes or the pieces that aren't perfect, but when other people see your crafts, all they see is just the cool thing that you've made and the work that you've put into it and is an enjoyment. All right, we are all covered in podge there. And we're gonna lay down right here, around. All right, Turn back on itself, come around. At this stage, your glue is very forgiving and you're going to be able to make any changes or edits that you want. The glue there, bring it right down. So my butterfly is not exactly uniform on both sides. But again, I can kind of move them around. And I do still have a piece uh, left over. You can see the table. I definitely got things on the table here. Um, that I would be able to use to add to this if I wanted to. I kind of think my butterfly is going to be good right there. So I'm going to take a pause while I clean off um, my fingers and then get ready to add the aluminum foil and get to our faux embossed look. All right, I have given this a few moments to kind of dry. It's definitely not completely dry, um, but I think I am ready to start with my foil and the embossing process. So in my attempts with this craft, what has seemed to work the best has been to start in the middle and work my way outward um, with the foil because I won't really have a chance. So everybody has a 12 by 12 foil sheet, a little bit longer and wider than the canvas itself. Uh, to help me, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down on the inside of my design so that the foil has a little something to adhere to and will stick down a little bit easier. Just a little bit of glue. All right, and then I'm going to start in the middle, um, but I've added this little extra piece here. So I'm gonna start right around there. Just going to push in gently with my fingers, filling in those spaces. Very gently pushing down. So I've got the beginnings of my butterfly in there. This is where the pencil and the eraser starts. 
So I'm just going to follow those lines, pushing down, kind of letting that get in there. All right. And at this point, I still have the ability to pull up my foil and kind of see where that next piece is. So I'm going to go to the top end. Really, any end would be um, fine to choose. So I'm just finding where the yarn is underneath and pushing it down some. Find my little antennae up here. And the outside of my butterfly's wing. Gently pushing down with my fingers. And then also using the eraser to kind of smooth out the foil. Working my way from one side of the canvas to the other. Gently pushing around. Making sure again that I'm working from the inside out so that I have enough give with the foil that it doesn't rip. Going back around the pieces that I have already done in case they come up some. Inside of my butterfly wing. Fly wing. Pushing out any air that might be underneath there. And once I get all of the top done here, I can go ahead and fold down the foil around to the back side. There. And then that'll give me a better idea of where I'm working with there. Working slowly around. Get to the edge there. Making sure, yep, on this side my wing is out a little farther and around and inside here I'm gonna definitely want to make sure I have a bit extra tapping as well as kind of smoothing very slowly again so that I don't push through the foil itself and going back over the areas that I've already done Get all of the design there. Push down. All right, here's my little spiral in the bottom. And I can start to see that spiral of the wing. Just kind of pushing that down. This corner here is going to be little bit more difficult as the two pieces of yarn get together so I'm kind of using the side of the eraser to get in there making sure I'm still pushing down kind of smoothing out so now that I've gotten that side I can go ahead and fold this edge around of go spinning as I go so I've still got this whole side of foil up but this over here I've really got an embossed look of the butterfly coming through working around here 
side here, making sure I have enough extra in there to really get around. I'm starting to see that other wing take shape inside the wing here. My little curl and then outside bringing this foil down fingers and then the eraser smooth out my edge here and again gently so that I don't rip any of the foil but if you do you should have enough extras that you can patch anywhere that you might need to This side of the bottom here, gently smoothing out, and around here, smoothing down, and let's tuck this bottom piece in, so you can really see the butterfly in there, and I come back around again. Gently as I go, just getting that really embossed look on there. All right, so there is my embossed butterfly. And I could just leave this as kind of a silver look, but I want to give my butterfly a little bit of color. And that's what we've got the markers for. Again, this is going to be a slightly messy um, part. So you can see my colors just kind of going right on there. Um, it's a little hard to see in the bright and shininess. Um, but I'm just going to kind of push it around back over. I'll make my butterfly very purple, pinky purple here on the bottom. Oh yeah, a little bit of a like a kind of paisley shape here at the bottom. All right. Definitely some orange up here at the top. The markers are also helping um, to get that embossing look, kind of going along those lines. This is another piece of this where you definitely want to be careful with how heavily you are pushing down with the marker so that you make sure that it doesn't um, rip through the foil. All right, some orange there. I go green in the, in the middle. And then mix in some brown for the body. Kind of that interesting little color. Um, and because these are washable markers, they should wipe right off but we'll get it right on their finger there. Some red for sure. Let's come up red, this bottom area. And gently so that I don't push through the foil. Yeah, because these are water, water, washable markers, pardon me, um, you are going to get some areas where that ink won't want to stay. That should just leave a really kind of cool look for you on your design. Oh yeah, there we go, mixing in that yellow was perfect. Alright, let's go blue up here. Yeah. 
around. Just add some color to your design there. There we go, a little bit. It's kind of tough to see in the camera here. Um, but this is definitely kind of a fun little craft, just a different way to think about using a canvas for a project. Um, canvases are not that intimidating. They used to intimidate me somewhat. Um, I don't feel like that much of an artist, but being crafty and doing these things with everybody um, has just been a lot of fun and getting kind of thinking outside the box in some ways that we might be able to look at something and turn it into something else like this faux embossed canvas. Uh, the foil should stay pretty well wrapped around if you want to tack it down or if you want to use your canvas tightener to kind of help hold it down, you can do that as well. And then just kind of display this anywhere that you'd like. We hope you enjoyed this first canvas craft and we look forward to future virtual crafts with you.